In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can create a new product page within Elementor Pro. Because the default product page, let's be honest, is not that converting, right? And it's one of the most important pages in our dropshipping or e-commerce store because this page will give us the actual sales. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create this product page and make sure that it's used for all the products within our store. So let's jump right into it. First of all, when we go to our WordPress dashboard and we go to plugins, you can see that I make use of the Elementor and the Elementor Pro plugin. And when we go to appearance and we go to teams, you can see that I'm using the Hello Elementor theme. So this is the only thing you need um, in order for us to create this awesome product page and make sure we get a lot of sales. First things first, when we go into products, you can see that I've also used a simple product to make it as easy as possible for now. I have added a regular price and I've added a sale price and I've also added the inventory. And what's important when we go to the WooCommerce settings and we go to products, there we can click inventory and there we can choose what we want to show with regards to the stock amount. So in this case, I said I only want to show, only show the quantity when we only have two remaining in stock. And it's two because I have put the two over here for the low stock threshold. So that's everything we need to set up before we can jump into the design. So save the changes and let's jump into the design. Now for the design, we need to go to the templates and then go to team builder. And there you can see single product. And of course we can see over here that I've already created the design, but what we're going to do is we create it from scratch so that you can see what we have done here to get to this result. So in this case, I will add a new Elementor single product page. And then they asked me if I want to start with a template. I don't want that. However, to make it as easy as possible for you, I have also created a JSON import file for this product page. So if you want to download it, you can watch the description below and you can choose to import it via this arrow. Here you can see import template. There you can import the JSON file, which you can download from our site. But for now, if you don't want to spend any money, we can just start from scratch and I'll show you what to do. So first things first, um, I have a breadcrumb and I have a title and these are the only tools I have here on top. So let's start with adding those to the product page. And I do that simply by clicking here and add a flex box. And because the elements are below each other, we can say it's a vertical flex box. And we can also see that it's a bit close to the header. So the first thing I will do is I will uh, change the padding. Now there's one important thing to know when changing the padding. If you keep these link values together, then once I add 25, for example, it will change the padding everywhere. So top, right, bottom, left. But I only want to change the padding on the top. So therefore, I will click this button to unlink the paddings and then here I can say like 25 to top or maybe even a bit bigger. Perfect. Then also what I notice is this is the container, um, but it's a bit smaller compared to the header. So what I will do, I will make this 1200 and then it's more in line with the header. Of course, these things you can also do from the general settings, but for now I will do it manually. Now, the first thing we want to add, like it is over here, is the breadcrumb. So let's add the breadcrumb, go to these squares and let's search for breadcrumbs. And there you can see the WooCommerce breadcrumbs. We can drag and drop it and there we have it. That was easy, right? Now let's do the same for the title. So again, go to the squares, search for title and then search for product title and then drag and drop and then kabam, there it is. Now it's a bit bigger compared to what we have in our design. So to change the design, we go to style. There we have typography and there we can change the size and I will put it on 24 pixels. And that's perfect. So now what we have done, we have added the breadcrumbs, we have added the title. The first steps are completed and those were like 
pretty easy, I think. The second step is we want to, of course, have two columns. On the left column, we want to have the product images. And on the right column, we will have a lot more information. So let's start with the left column. Again, I will add a new flexbox. And this time, it will be a horizontal flexbox. And again, I want to change the padding a bit. So let's change this to 25. And I also want to have it 1200 width. And now I can add elements in here. However, here I only have one element. Here I have multiple elements. So therefore, the smartest thing to do to make sure that I can add multiple elements within the flex box is to add a container first. So here I will add a container and then I will add another container by duplicating it. And then you can see they're both next to each other. So now on the left container, I can add the product images. And of course we have again a widget for that. So when we search for image, here we have the product image, we drag and drop and there it is. And then I can apply a couple of changes. I did not do a lot over here. I only removed the seal bubble because that's what I really don't like. And I also changed the padding of the container. So here I clicked on the container and I want to have the padding zero. So that's like full width within the container. If you are stuck on where you're at, if you're in your container, in your flex box or in your image, you can always use this panel by clicking the navigator. And then you can see here we have a container. I can say like container product, let's say product info. And then here I can say container image, for example. So if I want to change the container, I can click on this. If I want to change the entire flex box, I can click on this. And then in the container, we have the product images widget. Now here we're going to do the info. So let's change it to info. And first thing I want to have there is the amount of stock that has been left. So if we go back to the squares, we search for product stock. Now what I'm, what you see over here is that this particular design is different from the design we have here. So let's adjust it a bit. And that's what I'm going to do with typography. I want to have it uh, semi bold and I want to have it in 18 pixels. Nope, that's too big. Let's say 16 pixels. And the text color should be gray. And I also need a background here and therefore I go to advanced. And um, at first the width should be in line and the background should be white. Let's do white. And then the border, um, I want to have a solid border because it has a tiny border around it as you can see. And the border width should be one pixel. Um, the border radius, let's do four. And then the color is a bit of a light gray. And I also want to add a box shadow, but I want to have it like really transparent to make it as light as possible. Now, over here, you can already see that we have sort of the same effect, but it's not like exactly the same yet because this one is a bit more beautiful. So again, let's go back over here. It's in line, which is correct. And also I want to have it there. And let's publish it for now at a condition. Uh, save products. We're going to override my current one. So let me copy it so that we have this one still in place. And there you can see only left in stock too. It's still a bit weird, right? So we're missing a bit of padding over here. So let's go back and let's go back to advanced and then let's add some padding to it. Let's say 10, uh, right will be 25, 25. And maybe this one should be a bit more. Yes, 14, 15. Now let's refresh the page. Bam, there we have it. It's the same. I see only that we have a little bit of tinier font chosen here. So if we want to have a tinier font, we can of course do that. Let's do 15 and then we have a tinier font. Perfect. So 
What we have here, we have the breadcrumbs, the title, the images, and uh, the only left in stock. Now, the next thing we need to add is the short description. So again, we'll go to the squares, short description, paste it below, and there we have the short description. Awesome. Um, the only thing I noticed that this has a bit more space above, so let's adjust the padding again, and let's edit 25. Perfect. Now, the next thing is the price. So let's add the price. Again, the squares, price. This is easy, right? It feels like really easy. And there you can see, again, it has different colors. So what I want to do is I want to change the color. Um, I don't want to have text decoration underlined. So nope, that's none. And I want to have, let's say, 24, 28 font size perfect and i also want to have that for the sale price i want to have a similar size um so here you can see price and here you can change the sale price and above you can change the regular price so the sale price is the black one and the regular price is the gray one now update and there we have it over here and when we refresh we have it over here perfect now, the next thing we need to do is add to basket button, including the quantity. So let's search for that, add to basket. And then you will see again, it will have a bit of a weird uh, design over here. And it also edits the only two left in stock. So first things first, let's design it. So what we want, we want to have, let's start with the quantity. We want to have a different background color with a different border and also the button should be green. So first um, I'm going to adjust the padding of the quantity and let's try 15. Well, did it perfectly fine in once. And then also the background color should be a bit light gray light gray and then the border color also a bit darker gray perfect and then um, text color i will leave as it is and border radius i think it's fine uh, as it is now let's also jump to the bottom at first i want the button to be like full width so i will put it into justified mode and i want to have the background color to be green and i think this is a very nice color green perfect and that's it now the only thing we need to do is there's only two left in stock and therefore we need to have css added of course i have already done this before so let me grab the css and paste it over here so here it is we go back to this widget, we go to advanced, we go to custom CSS, and here we will add the CSS. And there you see it's removed. So this is working perfectly fine. Let's update and let's refresh the page. Kabam! Well, I'm switching between the one that I have live and the one that we're editing currently. And it's like almost the same, right? So next step is we want to also have some benefits on this product page. So this is one of the, the most nicest parts about Elementor Pro is that you can add literally every widget that you can also use in regular pages. So I'm going to search for icon and I'm going to paste in the icon list. Now I will remove this one and I will um, start with adding the first one, which is immediately dispatched dispatched from stock and i will copy it by clicking on this one and we'll add the second one free shipping worldwide and again copy click below and 30 days return policy and then last but not least click below pay safe after delivery with klarna so now we have added those now we can style those because as you can see over here this is bold this is green and there's a bit more space between everything so therefore we go to style and then we add the space in between a bit more let's put it on 10 and the icon i want to have 10 also and let's add the color which is the green color 
Yes, perfect. And then we also want to have the gap a bit bigger. Let's put it on six. And also we need to have the text. Um, the text should be a bit more smaller. Let's do 15 and let's make it um, medium so that it's a bit more bold. No, let's do 14. 14. It's a bit smaller. Perfect. And let's make sure that the text is black. Black. And then update. And then again, refresh the page. Woohoo! Now, the only thing that bugs me a bit there is it's a bit too close to the head to basket. So, again, let's click on the pencil and let's put a padding of 25 update. And there you have it. It has more space. It looks very nice. Last but not least, the tabs with the long description of the product and with the ability to add reviews to this particular product. So therefore we go back to Elementor, we go back to the squares, we click tabs and then product data tabs can be added over here. And of course the design is again a bit different and also there's a bit more space again. So let's start this time with the space by adding 25 pixels above. And then go back to style and the text color. What we, did we do? It's black. Of course it's black. It's black. Background color is white. And border color is light gray. And we don't want to have a border radius. Then we have the panel. And there we can also change the text color, which is black. And let's put again uh, the text a bit smaller. That's nice. And the heading, I also want to have a bit smaller. Let's say 18. And then the only thing that's left to do, um, let me check. Tabs typography. That should also be a bit smaller. 14. Perfect. Um, let's refresh. Kabam. And then... Over here, the only thing I added was a background color, but I did that again with CSS. So let me copy my CSS just to make it as easy as possible and paste it over here in advanced, custom CSS and paste. And then um, of course it's a different element. Yeah, I can't copy this. <laughs> nice, let's remove this. Perfect. And then update. And then refresh the page. And there you have it. Now the only thing left, there's only one thing left, is that it's a bit close to the footer. So therefore we will grab the entire container um, over here. And we will add a bottom padding bottom also. Then update. And when we refresh the page, you will see that there's more space below. So what we have done here, very easy. We have added the breadcrumbs, the title, the images, only two left in stock, the short description, the price, add to basket, immediately dispatch from stock with the benefits and of course the regular product tabs. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this product template is available in JSON. It's a very basic product template, but maybe it will help you to start like with a like a rocket launcher. You can download it via the link below in the description. For now, if you like this video, comment, put a thumbs up, subscribe. We, were going to, we are going to post way more videos like this. So I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.